Visual Snows is syndrome, a collection of disturbances in the vision. It's mainly, its core feature is a pan field or right across the vision um, disturbance that's dynamic, that usually consists of little dots that can be black and white or coloured or clear, and they're moving all the time. Added on to that, patients with visual snow will have uh, things called, I think, well, things called something called trailing, where if you move your finger across, they'll notice the, the, the image of the finger trails across. They'll have after images. If they look at a light, when they look away, that image stays with them for a prolonged period of time. When they look at the sky, they'll see little squiggles, they're called entoptic uh, phenomena. When they have trouble with vision at night, they're very sensitive to light during the day. And visual snow is a is a collection of these symptoms with the core marker of that fuzziness, dots that are there all the time, 24-7. We have anecdotal evidence that individuals with visual snow see something very differently to you and me. Obviously, there's a lot of descriptions about what that looks like, but in terms of what it is, that's what we're hoping to uncover. We're obviously seeing changes throughout very complex neural networks, but what those changes are, we're just not sure at the moment and that's what we're investigating. In a nutshell, visual snow itself is a symptom and that is like static on one of the old uh, uh, analogue uh, televisions. Uh, the interesting thing is that uh, a younger generation often describes it as pixelation, never having seen the older televisions. Um, but it's little spots in the, in, in the visual field, over the whole of the visual field, present constantly, although they fluctuate in intensity. The visual snow syndrome, uh, which was uh, defined by uh, some of our colleagues, um, is a combination of other visual symptoms and indeed other symptoms uh, that also suggest the same uh, functional abnormality in the brain, controlling balance, hearing, etc. Uh, the short version of what it's like to have visual snow is that there's a constant noise, for me anyways, in all of my sensory inputs um, except for my nose and my mouth. So um, through my vision, I see static, I see floaters, I have after images. So visually, there's a lot of noise and the noise is just not filtered out. Or think of it this way, like someone turned the knob to 11 on my eyes and essentially, in addition to all of the normal stuff that everyone sees, I'm also seeing all of the noise that's happening in my eyes as well too. Uh, same thing with tinnitus, it's just a, it's a, a continuous ringing sensation that occurs in my ears and it just it never goes away. You can mask it with uh, loud enough like noise, like in background noise or white noise, but um, the idea of silence is just, it's unheard of anymore. Like I, I just, I don't even remember what silence is like anymore. In addition, um, I have a, kind of a pins and needles sensation in uh, my entire body. So it's essentially just like there's always noise coming into all of my senses except for my nose and mouth. So visual snow is, uh, um, is a neurological condition, number one, because it's an area in the brain that's affected. And what it does is it creates a, a symptom complex in patients that both includes uh, visual stimuli uh, and other things. Uh, these other things could be anywhere from, from, from headaches to, to tinnitus, which is sort of, you know, um, uh, um, imbalanced because of, of, of issues with hearing and, and, and the ear. If I were describing visual snow to somebody who'd never heard of it or doesn't have it, I would tell them that visual snow looks like a TV screen with static in front of it, so a bad connection on a TV. Also, it looks like you're in a snowstorm, but it's unceasing. It's like peering out a dirty window. So we can see what you see, but to a much lesser degree. It's like trying to peer through glasses that are all smudged and have dots all over them and you're kind of squinting trying to see what's going on over there but it's there's all this madness <laughs> before you that makes it difficult to to concentrate on whatever's behind all the madness so strobe lights um, like you're at a concert laser beams <laughs> things like that it's that would be hard uh, for anyone to concentrate on anything with if that was happening in their eyes. So it's kind of what we, we have. You have to have a lot of self-control and, and composure to ignore all of this and see what's beyond.